Okay, welcome back to HEV Math. Here we are, we're going to go through the next section of counting. We want to be able to make it through number 20 today. And I know you've been practicing, you're a pro by now, so this shouldn't be too hard for you. Everybody loves cats. So let's count 11 crazy cats on our screen. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's more than enough cats for me. So let's count those. So let's see. Here's how you write the number eleven. I have three cats. Well, two cats now. One of them died. It's kind of sad. But so we have two cats now. Anyways, here's how you write the number eleven. Just two ones, just like that. Now here's how you write the word 11. Eleven. Piece of cake, just like that. There's the number 11. Here's the word, the word 11. And I don't think you'll have too hard of a time with that. So let's move on. 12, here we go. Let's do, since we did cats, we gotta do some dogs. Let's do, let's put 12 wild dogs on the screen. So here we go. One, count them with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve wild dogs on our screen. So here's how you write the number 12. A one and a two. Pretty easy. And here's how you write the word 12. There it is. The number 12 and the word 12. 12 wild dogs on our screen. Okay. Now let's do 13. What should we do for the number 13? How about we do a boat? There are 13 boats on the lake. So let's count together. Now, I want you to count with me and say the word out loud as we go. Okay, 13 boats, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 boats on the screen. Or 13 boats in our lake. So here we go, 13 boats. Here's how we write the number 13. A one and a three. Now here's how we write the number 13. Thirteen. T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N, 13. All right, let's, let's make it a little simpler. Let's just do something like circles. Circle, I mean, we don't have to get too crazy. Let's just do a circle. Let's do 14 circles. We're on number 14. Okay, we're gonna count them together. We gotta go through this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There it is, we have fourteen circles. Fourteen, and here's how we write the word. We will write a four, and then teen. Fourteen. Okay, let's do 15. Now, I'm feeling a little crazy, so why don't we do, I like giraffes. Giraffes are kind of a fun animal. Let's do 15 giraffes. There's 15 giraffes uh, peeking in your window. 15 giraffes, so let's count. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of giraffes. So here's, uh, let's count them all, because they're all peeking through your window. So here we go. Uh, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen giraffes peeking in my window. My goodness. That's, I don't know if I would like that. That might scare me if I woke up and I saw 15 giraffes peeking in my window. But if they did, I would be able to write the number 15 because it looks like this, just a one and a five. 15, and here's how you write the word 15. Fifteen, F-I-F-T-E-E-N. Easy, easy peasy, as my kids like to say. Now the other day, I saw a fish tank, and it had 16 fishes in it. Little, little tiny fishes, kind of neon in color. Anyways, really cool. So I had to be able to count 16, be able to count all the fishes in there. Let's see if we can count the same. So here we go. Let's count, you want to count them with me. We're gonna put 15 fishies on the screen. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, there we go. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 fishes on the screen or in our fish tanks. So, so here's how we write the number 16, a one and a six. And here's how we write the word 16. We write the number six and then put teen on the end. You probably could have guessed that. It's not too easy to write the numbers, is it? To erase that, let's do the next one. Now, why don't we do something fantastic like princesses? Why don't we do 17 princesses? That'd be a lot of princesses. They might. I don't think they would fight. They might. I don't know. Let's, let's see how, how well they do. 17 princesses. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, count them with me, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. There they are, seventeen princesses. I know a few little girls in my family that if they were there were suddenly seventeen princesses in their room, they would be so happy they would be crying or something like that. A happy cry, definitely a happy cry. And they would probably just completely forget because they would be so excited how to even write the number 17. But here's the number 17, a one and a seven. And to write the word, we just write seven and put teen on the end, 17. There we go. Let's do 18. We did a princess thing. Why don't we do like a boy thing, boy thing. Let's, let's do 18 swords. I know a few boys in my family, if they had 18 swords, they would be so happy that they would probably cry and completely how to forget how to write the number 18. So let's see, let's, let's put 18 swords on the screen. And they would probably love counting 18 swords. It would be a lot of fun to color or to actually have 18 swords. They would love that. So let's count them, count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And I hope you were saying those out loud with me because that helps you not you don't want to just listen to me. You gotta say it with me. And that helps you do it. But here's how you write the number eighteen. It's just a one and an eight. And we do the same thing, we follow the same pattern. To write the word, we write the number eight, just like that, and then we put teen on the end, but we don't put two T's in there, so 18, just like that. That's how we write the number eight, 18, I apologize. Okay, let's do 19. Now there's a lot of big families in my neighborhood and in my church and all that, and normally, well, when I went to church last week, I saw a lot of ants and I counted them. 
There was actually 19 vans. And that was on a slow day. There's usually more vans than that. Out here we have a lot of vans. So we counted them. Let's put 19 vans on the screen. You should count how many vans you see the next time you go, to, go someplace where there's a lot of families, especially homeschool families. We like big vans. And here we go. All right. 19 vans. Let's count them. Count them with me. Ready. One. We're, now, we're getting up there in numbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Nineteen vans. Holy cow. That's like 300 kids coming out of those. Well, maybe not that many, but a lot. So here's how we write the number 19. A one and a nine. Easy as that. 19. And here's how we write it. We just write the word nine and we put teen on the end. There we go. I'm sure you can handle that. And finally, the number 20. I thought I'd pick out a really special word for the number 20. And I can't think of a better word or a better thing to count to finish up this section than to do mustaches. We need to count 20 mustaches on the screen of all sorts and colors and types. So let's see, point to all the mustaches you see on the screen. This might be a little scary or traumatizing for some, but it's very important that you know how to recognize a mustache. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten mustaches so far. Let's keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen mustaches. Let's keep going. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty mustaches. That's a lot. But here's how you write the number 20, a 2, and a 0. And here's how we write the word. Twenty. Okay, you should by now have a pretty good grasp of how to count. Now, I would like you to practice on your own counting forward and backward, up and down, writing each of the numbers and writing each of the words. The, what I would like you to do is use the uh, penmanship sheet that I'll print out, that you can print out from here, and practice making sure that the, all the numbers are nice and even. And when you write the words, make sure that they have proper placement on the, on the penmanship line. Uh, if you don't have an adult around or somebody to help, help you learn those things or help you practice them, then uh, do your best to compare it against what you see in the video or what you can, what you see. I'll put a sample on there. Anyways, but I want you to do your best work and practice writing them over and over again so that you don't have any problem at all writing the numbers and writing the words of the numbers. Okay, we made it to 20. We're going to get on to some cool stuff, stuff next. I'll see you next time.